turn to something you said earlier. How does one get parents and other parts of society and the media and how do you get everybody as concerned about the quality of schooling as you are? You seem to have got done quite well in that in Peru. How, how did you do it? Are there any techniques that you can share with us? I don't, I don't know if, if techniques, but um, <laughs> but I think it's very important to reach the broader uh, policy community and to reach the public. I think one mistake that sometimes many, many people working in education is that they either preach to the choir or engage in complex discussions who could be very important discussions with their tribe, right? And that's fine. I mean, you need to convince your tribe, right? But that's not the most important thing, right? If you want to improve quality of education, you don't need to convince the tribe. You need to convince the other people in the cabinet that don't know anything of what of education. I mean, although in education, everyone thinks everyone has an opinion about education, yeah. right? And that's a challenge. But um, but still, you say, okay, so what the, the critical interventions are these three or four things, right? It's not to convince the experts, right? And I many say that I said, look, no offense, but you're not the uh, um, you're not you're not the audience. I don't care too much about convincing the education experts only. That's not the most important things. Many of the good education experts know the problem, right? And know the and, and also not, might know the solution. The key thing is that you need to make that change at scale, right? And for that, you need the prime minister, your minister of finance, right? First of all, them, I mean, with you, you need to make sure that Congress understands what is that the challenges are and what is the has, has, has to happen. And then you do need to convince the public, right? So this issue that you were asking at the beginning, right? Um, how 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 to summarize what we were doing? I said, well, let's summarize it in four wheels of a car, in four pillars, right? That's useful because that's easier to communicate, right? Than all the details that are the reality. That are reality are the many issues on decentralization, on financial management, right? On the uh, the methods to teach uh, to teach how to read, uh, how do the the teachers the teacher salary structure? There are many many details that are critical for education reform, but you don't convince anyone with that, right? You need to say, this is the problem. We need to focus on improving the quality of what's happening in the classroom. And we, in order to do that, we're gonna do these four things, right? That's one important thing. And the other thing that is important is that, is is the measurement thing. And that you usually um, in, uh, brings a lot of criticism, usually of the tribe, right? Of per people working on education is they say, well, we need to measure learning. Now, the problem is that learning and the education, the quality of education is an holistic experience. So at the end of the day, what you really want is a child to be happier, right? And a child that will have the tools, right? In order to be a good productive citizen, right? And there are many things, many traits that you need to make sure that that child acquires in school. However, we can, we don't know how to measure all those things. We don't know how to measure that holistic experience, right? We just don't know yet how to do it. However, we can measure decently if they can read. And we can measure decently if they can do basic math and their basic knowledge of science. So, well, let's at least measure that. And let's make sure that, I mean, that we, uh, that society as a whole right, looks at what's happening with those outcomes, right? And and some people say, well, but then that implies that the teacher will focus only on reading. I will say, well, in many of our countries, if they solve the reading issue, I'll be very happy. Mm -hmm. If all kids in South mm -hmm. Africa know how to read by the end of primary, I will be a very happy man, right? And that will be, that applies exactly to the whole Latin America, right? Yeah. And, and Peru as well. Right. So, I mean, let's be realistic. Right. We need to achieve those. Now, happens to be as well that a teacher and a school that is able to uh, achieve that, a kid that reads with understanding and with joy at the end of primary. Right. 
most likely is a school that is giving that child also a good education in the other subjects. And also it's most likely a school in which the kid feels happy, that kid feels stimulated, that they are fostering creative thinking, that the kid feels safe, right? Most likely all those things are happening. Maybe not always, but most likely if you are achieving also at the same time foundation, those foundational skills that we can measure. So we really need to focus um, to um, making sure that the whole system, parents, teachers, principals know what's going on, right? And you can only do that measuring at least whatever we know how to measure.